As you recover from a crisis, you have the opportunity to sort of build back better or build improvements into the way you respond. So I think that's the opportunity is to sort of uh, get through the response phase and, and take a deep breath and think about as we recover from the situation, can we do things better? Can we learn from it? Can we build any additional resilience into our response? The time of crisis, people aren't thinking opportunity. They're thinking about how do I restore what I had? But the key of all crises is, is doing the learning exercises to then lock in what, what is it that we actually achieved in here that we didn't think that we knew how to do or we didn't know was possible until we were actually forced, forced to do it. So I think the opportunity comes from locking in the learnings and then start to create like how could we do that under normal circumstances which I think is one of the hardest things to do. You know most experience would be you create an amazing response to something and then normal activity returns and you go back to the way you were as opposed to being able to unlocking those things that you discovered that you didn't know you had the power to do and then doing those on a regular basis. As an example, the port here, I have a saying that we've been here for 150 years in Wellington and hopefully we'll continue to be here for 150 years. And when you put the crisis, that's, that's just a short blip in time what you do post the crisis is the opportunity to move the business to where it needs to be. And um, that's the opportunity.